Tonight's dinner is going to be a street tacos and street corn on the cob. We're going to grill that up and put some delicious flavor to it. So I've got uh, some soy sauce in here, putting the juice of one lime. I'm going to put the juice of one orange in here. I've got a seeded and diced up jalapeno. Putting in this, I'm going to have some uh, minced garlic, the cilantro, and then I'm going to put some olive oil in here as well, and some uh, some love. And we're going to let that sit for about four hours or so uh, in the marinade, and come back at you. We should be grilling at that time. And Bob's going to pig out on random chicken salad. You will not know the difference. I cannot open it. What do you think? One, two, and three. That looks about right. Four and do it that way. Going to be garlicky. all the deliciousness together. Okay. To the refrigerator we go. And now it comes up here. I gotta cut up the pineapple. But wait, are you gonna cut those up first? I don't know what I wanna do with that yet. I am no chef. I don't cut up a lot of food. So don't be judging me on this. And I won't be judging you on yours. Oh, that's still oh. tense. That's not burnt yet? No, it's hot down below. Yeah. But the tab was. But it takes a while for the other cool. be cooking up some uh, carne asada here in a little bit and some corn. Um, you probably notice that this is a really small grill, but the condominiums here have an HOA that do not permit you to have a grill. So you can't put up on the balcony, you can't really roll one in because the garages are small. You don't have a backyard, so you got to improvise. Who wouldn't purchase a smaller grill unit? It's easy, cleans up easy, and it works for us. What kind of grill do you use? Let us know in the comments below. These knives need sharpened. These were soaking in water. 
Explain to us, Mr. Matthew, why will those ones not work? But these ones will work. I had them soaking in water for about an hour, so they're waterclogged. And, um, they're very bendy, if that's a word. Fendy? Bendy. Bendy. Yes. You know. And they were breaking, so I didn't want to keep trying. Just use fresh. So I'm using these bamboo sticks. I'm using the fresh ones to put in here just so we can use to put the mayonnaise, the butter, the Parmesan che cheese, anything else that we have. Was um, that a hiccup? It was. Oh, I made a mess. Oh my gosh. Damn it. Beans? No, look at this. It's beautiful. What? Oh. It looks pretty. Eat it over the bowl. Is it good? I like it. <laughs> mm. You are not a critique. <laughs> mm. mm. Y'all, this corn is amazing. I'm telling you, you have to have it. And you have to have a napkin ready because it is messy. Hey y'all, dinner was amazing. I hope you get a chance to make that yourself. If you like this video and others like it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Like, please share as well. We are trying to get out there. We are trying to be able to find a way to make you happy of what we are doing and get you to want to travel some more. Speaking of traveling, I do have to say that our format will be changing. My airline has furloughed me, which means I am no longer employed actively with my airline as a flight attendant. I am right now just hanging out and when they get the money back in their pockets, they're going to take me back in the skies. But you know what? Good news is TJS1 Marcus, he is still flying. He did not get furloughed. That's wonderful news for us. This here, he can go out and record and find places that will be amazing areas for you to venture out to, myself included. And while I'm home in Colorado, I am going to try to make as many videos as I can to show you my state of Colorado. Hey folks, this is nothing but good times and fun vibes. And you know what? I gotta say cheers to you and cheers to myself too. Being furloughed, it is not fun, but I'll tell you what, we're on this together. Please stay tuned, subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. Cheers to you.